I wanted to take the opportunity to talk to you guys about, you know, just what's going on a little bit as far as like my channel and me personally and so on and so forth. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video nonetheless. But of course, as always, let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to kind of just, you know, clear my, my chest a little bit, get some shit off my chest. Um, you know, there are different things that, that go on. Like, I'm not going to get too deep into the personal of my life and stuff like that. But I did want to kind of touch on YouTube and the way things are going. Um... You know, I've been on YouTube for like a year and a half now. Uh, I really started taking this stuff seriously when I started growing a lot, like maybe like five or six months ago. And it's just been a steady growth. There's constant, constant, constant. And I'm really thankful for that. And everybody that's new to the channel, like I, I totally appreciate all the support, all the love uh, on all the different social media platforms you guys interact with me on and stuff like that. I appreciate it. I do genuinely from the bottom of my heart. I can't say that enough. Um, you know, I, I do. You know, the thing is that like, Sometimes people don't really take the time to give credit where credit is due. I put in the work, but the work means nothing if it doesn't get support. And you guys are the backbone for that, so I do appreciate the support. Um, but I did want to kind of say that I'm a little bit different when it comes to this YouTube thing, man. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, and don't anything I say in this video, don't take offense to it because it's more or less just my opinion. It's not something that I'm trying to offend anybody with, but. I don't know what it is, like, when it comes to, like, different aspects of YouTube and, like, comments and stuff like that, stuff that gets all over the place, like, I'm at a point now where I say things in the videos, and it's like, I'm totally not used to it yet, but I'm getting used to it, I will continue to get used to it, but I'm at a point now where I say one thing in a video, and it's 100% dissected, and it's completely just misconstrued and taken the wrong way, and I'm like, whoa, I didn't mean it like that, but somehow it got perceived that way, so, you know, I'm at a point where it's like, do I continue to be myself and say things how I want to say them or do I try to appeal to the masses and not say things a certain way? So like there's so many different things I'm being tugged in different directions with that because, you know, I'm me. Like if somebody says D free F you, I'm going to say F you back. Like I don't care. Like I will say it back. I've said it in my videos. Like I've been kind of just all over the place lately too, like ranting a little more and stuff like that because people have been trying to attack me for my opinions on like – Specifically, like with Dokkan is mainly where I get this stuff at. Um, all my opinions on like units, so it's like you're free to do whatever you want and think whatever you want, and as am I. So it's like I'm sorry if you don't like it or how frequently I talk about it. I, I don't care, you know. Like it doesn't bother me. But I've been getting a lot of that, and like if somebody says, "Bro, like excuse me, I'm just you know what? I can't really not stick to profanity here. So forgive me if you you can't listen to profanity or whatever it is. You know, I'm gonna start cussing at this point. If somebody's like, "Fuck you." bitch ass nigga da, da 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 I'm gonna say bitch nigga fuck you get off my channel I will say it in my comment section I don't care who sees it because I'm not just gonna be like oh I'm sorry that you or that I offended you dude I'm not gonna kiss anybody's ass this is my channel this is my content if you don't like me if you think I'm arrogant if you think I do this or that and and you know you just don't enjoy it you like somebody said like my commentary was annoying like bro fine I don't care you don't have to watch my stuff like People enjoy it. People don't. It's, you know, to each his own. It's pretty much what it is. There's so many of us, like, you have the opportunity to choose who you want. And there are so many people that do YouTube that get up, you know, that get up on the mic and they sit there and they're just like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and be fake as fuck. And I'm going to just say whatever they want me to say and act super hyped and, you know, be super excited all the time. Don't get me wrong. Like, when I record... I do throw some inflection in my voice to be a little more engaging. That's about it. I don't get fake. Oh my god, like this is like so like I wish I don't do all that shit, man. That's not me. I'm just I, I throw inflection in to try to get a little more engaging. Like you can see, like I'm not as monotone anymore. I'm, I'm a little more inflection. So like I do that. So it, it makes it's a little more appealing, you know, as far as like listening to it goes. Um, especially because I don't do face cam generally, just my personal preference. Maybe one day I will. I've planned to, but maybe one day I will. It's just a personal preference. So all I am is just a, a face or a voice and like gameplay, so I got to make sure that it's you know engaging in a way. But so many people just are like, "Yo, I'm gonna do this and that and that. Try to be this perfect angel on camera and on these videos and make everybody happy and all that." Like, bro, I'm sorry, that's not me. And I, I feel like at this point, I've got to a point where people are expecting that from me. And then when I backlash and I say stuff back, people don't expect that from me they just get uber offended when I do that hella offended and I'm just like sorry leave you know and I've gotten advice from other people bigger youtubers and I, I do appreciate the advice I've gotten from like Dino Rhyme style and Geekdom you know these guys have given me good you know 
feedback as far as how to deal with that stuff and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it is still kind of really hard to do, especially for me personally. I didn't think that it would be that difficult, you know. Um, it it kind of comes with the territory, though, right? Like you want to grow, you want to get huge. You, you're going to get criticism. You can't get away from criticism. Not everybody's going to agree with everything you say. And God damn it, I'll be damned if, you know, the more I grow, it, it, it doesn't appear that less <laughs> and more and more people actually are popping up that don't agree with me. It's like, okay, and pointing out every little tiny flaw or dissecting every little thing I say every which way. Like, it, it didn't used to happen that way when I was at like 10, 15K. And now I'm like over 30 and it's like, bro. And I can only see it getting so much worse. So like, it, it's kind of like a thing as far as like maturing with the channel goes. But I'm not going to change, man. I'm going to be me. I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to say it back to your face. Because you, because I don't know what it is. It, it, it's like, there's so many keyboard words. Like, bro, understand that I'm not a kid, bro. I'm, I'm not a kid, dog. Like, I'm a grown ass man. I have kids. I'm not a kid. You're not going to sit here and disrespect me from behind a keyboard. It's not going to happen. And especially not expect for me to freaking lash back. That's just not going to happen. I don't care what platform we're on. I don't care how old you are. I'm a grown ass man, dog. It's not going to happen. So like, I don't know. I just feel like there's so many keyboard warriors and it's like, you legit wouldn't say that shit to my face. So why would you try to fight me over, over words? Like, come on now. I'm not with all that. And it's like, it's partly my generation and the younger generation coming up behind me. I'm in my early 20s, about to be mid-20s in the next year or so. It's like my generation to a T and like the younger generation, it's like everybody's a freaking cyber bully. Like, stop. <laughs> Calm down. Like, I don't know. Like, I guarantee you wouldn't say it to my face. And it's not to sound arrogant or anything like that or sound self-centered. It's just a reality. It's just people are cowards nowadays. Um, You know, like, it, I don't, I don't understand. So... I wanted to just kind of just vent a little bit. Like, I generally don't do stuff like this. Um, you know, people have the conception or the misconception, I like to say, that I'm like a Dokkan channel. It's not their fault. It's just I chose to start doing more content on that. I'm going to start pulling back on that a little bit and doing more things and diversifying. Not stopping that, of course, because a lot of people do love that. But I want to start diversifying. But I did want to kind of clear my chest and get some stuff off. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm trying to learn to cope with it, but... I'll be, don't be surprised if I take a hiatus. A hiatus doesn't mean I'm not going to upload. What I would probably do, just to kind of take a break, um, because I, I, at, a point, at this point now, to stay relevant with my channel, I do need to upload every day, and sometimes I need to do double uploads a day, just to meet my algorithm due to the way that YouTube works. It's kind of hard to take a day off and expect to continue to grow and continue to get your same numbers um, and stay consistent. Of course, you can't stay consistent if you don't stay consistent, right? But, like, it's kind of hard to do that, especially at my size. I'm in that weird area where I'm not a big YouTuber, but I'm not super small. It's just kind of weird, especially for, like, the community. I'm, like, a mid-sized, you know, Dragon Ball YouTuber. So, it's, like, it's weird. But if I take a hiatus, it'll be something where I'm, like, I'll announce it in a video or a couple videos or whatever it is leading up to it. And I'll announce the day and the day as I'll come back. But I'll also have stuff pre-recorded for you guys so you guys can enjoy it for, like, a course of, like, a week or two. I don't know. And I'll just batch record and batch upload a bunch of stuff just so I can chill and take a break. And if anything crazy happens, I'll, of course, do videos on it. But, like, you know, I don't know. I just wanted to just, once again, just talk about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this discussion. Just me talking to you guys as a human being. No gameplay, no mask, just nothing. Just me talking to you. Um, so, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, see you later. Peace.